Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel again. In today's video, we are going to look at Timeshift. Timeshift is a fantastic tool for a full system and store backup, so let's have a look at it. So, we are now in the GNOME desktop and we want to now install Timeshift. So Timeshift is a great solution if you want to have a full backup of your system and I definitely recommend you to try it out. So Timeshift is a package available on the Arch user repository. So we'll need to go there and find the git clone URL. So we just go to our browser here and this is the AUR homepage and we'll search here for Timeshift and we can click the first link here. And this is the git clone URL we need. So we just right click on this and select copy link location. And then we can close this up and we'll open up a terminal and I'll go here full screen and increase the font size and we can type in git clone and with control shift V we paste in the link and hit enter. Now there's a time shift directory which has been created so we'll move into there by typing in CD a T and then the tab key to autocomplete and hit enter. And now we need to make the package by typing in make pkg space si and then capital P with the tab key to autocomplete for our package build and hit enter. So we enter our sudo password and hit enter. And we proceed by installing the dependencies first by hitting enter. And it's going to take a moment to build the package, so I'll be back when it's done. And now we can proceed with the installation of the package by hitting enter here. And so the package is now installed, so let me clean up the terminal. Before we can use Timeshift, we need to install also another package, and that's the cron package. So we'll do this by typing in sudo pacman-s cron and hit enter. And we'll select here the first repository as default, so we just hit enter here. And we proceed with installation by hitting enter. And now we can close up here the terminal. We go under the activities here and search for Timeshift. And there you go. We enter our sudo password and hit enter. And we are presented now with the setup wizard. So here we have the choice to select rsync or butterfs. If we open here the help menu, we'll see some explanations about this. But basically what it means here, if you install your system with the butterfs file system, you of course would select the second option here. Of course, one of the benefits of butterfs, as it says here in the explanation, is that snapshots are created and restored instantly. And also, ButterFS also has a built-in feature for snapshots. So this is a big advantage of ButterFS. However, if your file system is not ButterFS, you will have to go with rsync. So unless you specified ButterFS when you installed Arch Linux, you'll have to go with rsync in this case. In my case, the system has an ext4 file system, so I'll go with rsync and click Next. Now it's going to take a moment to estimate the size system. And as you can see now, it asks us to select the snapshot location. So this is where basically our backups are going to be stored. And right now it is selecting the drive where my system is installed. So that's not really a good thing. And as you can see, it's an XDF4 file type. So what I want to do here, I have in my system a second drive, which is free right now. And I want to use actually this second drive to store my backups. If you have an external drive or a USB stick, you can do that as well. You'll just have to make sure that the external drive or the USB stick is formatted having a Linux file system. As it says here on the bottom, devices with Windows file system are not supported. That means if you have an NTFS drive or a FAT drive, it will not work with Timeshift. So I'll select here my second drive and click Next. And here we can select our schedule. So this is very flexible and it's really up to you how you want to schedule your snapshots. Well, in my case, for the purpose of this tutorial, I will just let the defaults here. Just keep in mind here the keep option, which basically allows you to keep five snapshots. And as it says here in the description, once you reach the limit, all the snapshots will be deleted. So for me, these options are okay. So I'll just click next. And here I have an option whether to include or exclude the home directories. So by default, home directories are excluded. In this case, beside the root directory, I have my home directory here. I don't have any other user in this system. But I do want to actually back up my home directory. And so I go here on this option and include all files. And then click Next. Then setup is complete. Now we can go forward with the Finish button. And Timeshift is ready to go. 
So we set up the schedule once a day. So TimeShift is now going to create a snapshot every day. Right now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I just want to create one now. So I'll just click Create here. And now it's going to take a moment to sync in the files with rsync. So I'll be back in a moment. And there you go, the snapshot is created. So let me close up this window here. And let's say now we want to actually destroy some files and folders in our system. So again, I go to my file manager here and I'll just delete all these directories here. Let's say I do this by mistake and I lose all my documents and photos. So I just close up the window here and I'm going to pull up time shift again and enter my password again. And now we want to restore the machine to the prior state where my directories and files were there. So I'll just click the snapshot we just created and click restore. Now we need to tell TimeShift where do we want to restore this snapshot. So in this case, if I click here, VDA2 is my root directory where my installation is right now. And VDB1 is actually my snapshot drive. So I want to restore, of course, on my VDA2 drive. So I'll click this. The boot option and the boot EFI option looks also correct. If I click here on boot EFI, you'll see this is a VFAT file system and that's exactly what I formatted my system with. And I'll keep also the home directory on root. And then for the bootloader options here, we can click for advanced options. And actually I don't need to reinstall Grub because I don't have an issue with booting the machine in this case. And I don't need also to update the Grub menu. So I'll just check this off and click next. And now TimeShift is going to see what actually needs to be restored. And we have a list now of stuff that will be restored in our system. So basically it will restore the files which has an orange logo here and it says restore and it's going to create files and directories that have been deleted on my system and going to restore them back to the original place. So we can just click next here. And this is a small summary. And as it says here, please save your work and close all application because the system will be rebooting once the snapshot has been restored. So that's fine with me and I'll click next. And as you can see right now, TimeShift is restoring the snapshot. And once it's done, it's gonna reboot the system. And now the system is rebooting. We will be greeted by the grab bootloader. There you go. So I'll just hit enter here. And we can log in in our GDM. And here we are back in GNOME. Now let's see if our directories and file have been restored. So I'll just click the activities here and go to the file manager. And as you can see, all our directories have been restored together with the files inside. So I close this up. So I definitely recommend TimeShift if you want to have a full backup of your system or in case of recovery. It's free and it's one of the best backup tools for a full system restore. And there you go guys, this is how to use TimeShift. As I said before, TimeShift is a great backup solution for a full system backup and restore. It's free, give it a try and let me know what you think about it. But this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subs really helps us out guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.